Uh, good morning, everyone. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are safe. And uh, let's hope for all of us that uh, this thing, the pandemic, which is giving us a bit of a trouble, uh, make us stay indoors, is going to go away soon. Uh, that being said, we wanted to do a small uh, tech meeting uh, for you guys to know uh, what are the latest updates uh, regarding the uh, development for uh, the new reality, the metaverse uh, platform. But in the beginning, I would like to thank all the team. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank a lot to uh, Eric Du, our mentor and our leader. He's having a great vision and uh, we're all part of it, helping to, to build it. And also I would like to thank the veterans in the team, who's Van and Laurent, they were there since the beginning. And uh, as we now are participating in this team, and uh, it's also a, a lot of uh, thanks for the efforts of the development team, like Razvan and Oli, and uh, our leader, the chief technical officer, Jorge Alonso. And also I'd like to welcome uh, in the team, uh, Audrey, from the marketing and uh, of course you, Michael, which uh, you do a great job in uh, laying down all the designs we need and uh, everything else that needs to go out there for uh, our uh, uh, viewers. Uh, as a short uh, update on the testnet, what we call is the testnet uh, alpha, we are preparing uh, probably a few days away, we're gonna let you know on the social media channels when the testnet will be launched, we will be able to see um, how the nodes interact with each other. You will be able to create an account, a mining account, and also see the web wallet uh, where you're gonna be able to see um, your mining uh, balance. That being said, uh, this is a special uh, setup we did for the blockchain. Uh, we decided to go with a very safe uh, block production, which is a POW uh, pass uh, algorithm. And uh, we're very proud of it and uh, our team has worked a lot on it. It's proven to be difficult. It's the first one, as far as we know, in the substrate world to have this uh, configuration. And we're looking forward uh, to hear uh, from you guys uh, some inputs on uh, what do you think, how it's working. And also you're gonna have a first look, as I said, to the web wallet, where you're gonna be able to see the tabs where you can interact with the smart contracts and in the future, the digital identity uh, module based on the field protocol. So uh, this is it pretty much uh, about the testnet alpha, which is again, a few days uh, away. And only if you wanna talk a little bit about the smart contracts uh, structure and how we think it's gonna uh, be uh, like uh, implemented. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm <clears throat> trying right now to, to see if I can uh, share screen, but my connection seems to be pretty, pretty slow to be able to talk and uh, the pages load very slow and... Uh, okay, so just in a few words, uh, you don't need to share a screen, uh, it's okay. <clears throat> so probably based on the uh, document I shared uh, <clears throat> last time. So basically, as I... Uh, uh, as I explained in the, so if uh, somebody read, already read the contract, that would be a help. So the first step uh, in deploying the contract on the EVM module would be to, to install MetaMask. Uh, the MetaMask uh, <clears throat> wallet can be uh, funded from the, web wallet and uh, will be displayed under the ATH uh, symbol uh, because uh, in, in in the future probably at a certain point we need to to see if we, we can clone uh, the metamask itself in order to be able to change the the symbol so uh, <clears throat> the wallet from uh, which I think appears under ETH symbol in MetaMask will be used in order to, to pay the gas fees for the contract. Uh, the, uh, after the, 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 the account is, uh, the wallet is funded, uh, then uh, we may go to Remix. 
and uh, open a new file, sure, uh, create a contract. So before deploying it, uh, as for any network, uh, the contract uh, should be should be debugged. Uh, I mean, uh, before deploying, being sure that uh, it, it is uh, OK, because uh, to avoid any, any trouble. Uh, <clears throat> then uh, uh, the contract can be uh, can be compiled from the uh, solidity compiler tab. After the <clears throat> so here on the compiler tab there is no any special setting uh, we can work with defaults uh, sure we, we previously we created a, a new file and assigned gave a, a name to that file then uh, after compiling su successfully the, the contract we move to the next step to deploy a run transaction from there very important uh, there are a few things so first of all uh, we need to select from the uh, select menu the first uh, <clears throat> uh, the first uh, part of the of the form we need to select injected the web free contract uh, this will connect then will be popped up uh, on the our MetaMask uh, and uh, account ID will be filled automatically. We, we, we need to approve and uh, <clears throat> need to pay attention because if we have several accounts before switching to, to a new account, we need to, to properly select the account. Sometimes after the first connection to the, uh, to the MetaMask, then uh, need to be to be manually reconnected the, the, the new account or connect actually or reconnect if uh, switching be, between accounts so on the account uh, field will uh, the, the the idea of uh, our wallet will be out of field the gas limit we work now as it is uh, we need to <clears throat> To, to select uh, in a uh, uh, way uh, a certain, uh, a certain, uh, uh, a certain amount for the, uh, for the contract and uh, which will be the total gas fee. Uh, then, uh, we need also to, uh, before deploying the contract, uh, I, um, we need to fill the, the, the whole amount of the, of, the, of the contract. So, okay, I forgot to mention that this is a test for an, for an uh, ERC-20 contract. And for sure, uh, in this case, uh, we'll be prompted to <clears throat> Uh, fill the uh, entire uh, figure, which is uh, an 18 digit. This is the, the actual setting on our network at this point. So 18 digits because, because it is in a way uh, will, will equal one unit of uh, our coin. So uh, for instance, one point followed by no, uh, one followed by 18 zeros will be one, one, uh, one unit of our coin. So basically the, the all uh, the, the, the data will be uh, auto completed sometimes with the names we, we have chosen in the constructor of the class uh, of the contract. For instance, if I uh, choose the name of the constructor of the class of the solidity contract, uh, Oli, let's say my name. Uh, then the, 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 the coin will be named Oli. Uh, they, they need to pay attention. There are two parameters to be sent 
on the constructor, then because certain contracts from uh, from testing uh, for testing purposes from Open Zeppelin will be can be imported uh, in solidity from straight from uh, Git without uh, copy pasting the all the uh, all the. Uh, the contract itself and uh, without importing uh, all uh, open Zeppelin uh, contracts. Uh, once these steps uh, are fulfilled, uh, we should pay attention to, to, to not forget to, to, I repeat this because it is important to fill the whole amount of, uh, of the contract, otherwise we'll, we'll uh, trigger an error. Uh, then we can, uh, we can uh, press deploy uh the will will be popped up from the metamask to approve the the contract uh once the contract is uh, deployed so in a few only a few seconds the contract is deployed then the 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 all methods of the contract are, uh, contracts are displayed on the uh, um, remix so in such a way that we can uh, interact with it from the left uh, top uh, form under, we need to scroll down a little bit. We, there is a tab uh, deployed contracts and there we can uh, expand the menu and then we can see everything. We also have access to, to ABI file. Uh, then uh, this means that the contract was uh, successfully uh, Deployed can be seen also on on uh, Exynseq on the on the blockchain. Uh, we also think so. This is uh, the moment when 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 the the contract is deployed and can be interacted uh, with it. Uh, sure, one deploying a contract would want to build his own uh, her own uh, DApp. Uh, we we are thinking to to, to offer a, a simplified way to to generate a, a, a DAP from a, from a web IDE so that a user be be able to to to, to build fast the index file JavaScripts and. Uh, uh, some some contracts, test contracts, also offer uh, uh, a DApe uh, feature. So uh, this will be pretty straightforward for for test contracts. Then uh, on MetaMask, sure, it is a step when we 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 paste the we copy the contract ID, we add a new token. We paste it uh, as a custom uh, custom token. We add it, and uh, we'll see the contract also in uh, in MetaMask, where we'll be able to perform uh, certain basic operations like uh, moving found uh, funds uh, between accounts. So this is the the, the basic uh, idea of the smart contracts. Uh, along the way, we will. Uh, surely, uh, for sure, add uh, new features, new capabilities, but I think that it, it is almost the same. Uh, so the whole process uh, involves uh, the um, same basic steps uh, as on uh, Ether uh, blockchain. Uh, well, being, yeah. Okay. No, I yeah. just want to say, so just to to summarize, basically, uh, we're making use of MetaMask, which is a very popular uh, uh, like uh, online uh, web wallet, which is great, and a lot of people are familiarized. And also, we're using a Remix, which is also another tool, which is very popular, right? Right, right, right. We wanted to we wanted to stick uh, on these uh, tools because most of uh, the people. Oh, most of people uh, are uh, well uh, acquainted, are well uh, familiarized with this type of uh, of tools, and will be anyone who deployed previ who previously deployed an, a contract on Ether will be able to deploy it on our uh, network blockchain. Sure, for 
uh, a lot uh, lower fees. That's clear. That's great. <laughs> Actually, that's, uh, that's uh, great. And uh, I'm very excited. Of course, uh, just to let everyone know, the smart contracts are sometime like a few weeks uh, away to be finalized. We're still uh, working on uh, everything uh, what Oli has just uh, described. So this would be a short uh, technical uh, update. I'd like to give the floor to Audrey. Um, she's the lead of the marketing team. If she want to say a few words for the community. Hi, uh, we're very excited actually, uh, me and Michael on the marketing side for what the development team is doing and what's coming in 2021. And we are um, going to be communicating more uh, with the community and uh, really trying to engage there uh, much more than ever before. Uh, the developers do an amazing job of that. Um, and yeah, we're very excited about uh, what's coming 2021. So please uh, give us feedback and, and let us know how you are feeling on the community side so we can adjust that on our side. Michael, anything to add? Yeah, I think you said it all, and I hope everybody has a safe and happy holidays. And yeah, let's look forward for uh, what's coming in 2021. Absolutely. And thank you, Adrian. Well, thank you. And uh, Jorge, if you want to add a few words as a chief technical officer, uh, like the merit is yours. You know, we joined the team and uh, we're so uh, thankful uh, to you. Hey guys, um, yeah, I don't mind jumping in for a few minutes. Uh, excuse my lack of video. I'm a little not so well groomed these days because most services are shut down. But first of all, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, and as far as probably something to mention to viewers and community and those who want to join along the ways, it's, it's kind of an exciting time mm -hmm. for blockchain development and what we're working on these days. Um, We've taken some of our previous strengths and histories uh, with the previous blockchain and our current uh, approach to what we're gonna share coming up soon, which really breaks things down into an exciting time for developers and those who are gonna use the system because we no longer develop software in a monolithic way. Uh, everything is developed as pallets and uh, microservices. Um, New software tools today for even blockchain developers are quite exciting. We have tools like um, self-completing software programming, almost like spell check. Uh, we have interesting things that allow the chain to somewhat become in its runtime environment. You could call it self-updating and self-governing. Um, and of course, um, we still have to always lean on what we started with which was our identity modules, uh, the speed of how we're gonna be able to process things. And truth quite exciting because uh, there really is no limit to how quick it can expand. So I'm always hesitant to say too much before we can show things. So I'm gonna leave it there. And I wanna just leave off with uh, a positive message that from the development side, it's kind of neat what we can do with software these days. All right. Well, uh, thank you, Jorge. If anyone here would like to add a few words uh, for the community and uh, to wish them uh, happy holidays uh, and uh, just a very good uh, upcoming new year in 2021 where we can all be going and uh, just travel again and don't feel this lockdown pressure anymore. All right. Everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Hey, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Robot team. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from our team.